Okay, hello guys. So, I am going to do um a video today that's not a vlog, but it's going to be funny. So, you guys should stay tuned and it's with my sister. I've been telling you guys about this. And stay tuned and I'll just see you when we're all set up. Okay. So, what? No, I'll show you. It's really sick. Okay. Okay, so we are going to do so, yeah, my brother can't talk, but we're doing a video today. Basically, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Gavin's older sister, and, um, yeah, so my friends who uh, have a bunch of questions for Gavin, basically, they want to know some things, some advice, so they texted me a bunch of different questions. I think he has them on his phone, but I'm going to ask them to you. So I'll pull them up and then don't text in videos. And yeah, so we're just gonna see his advice, just like a simple advice question. Video, these are, this video is mostly gonna be for whoever asked the question. So shout out to Isabel, Mason, Amalia, Chelsea. All right, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, so I screenshotted most of these. Um, I'll switch them all up. So the first one is from my friend Chelsea, and she wants to know... Uh, so, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. When I drink water, I have to pee constantly. But if I don't drink water, I'll die. How do I find balance? That's a hard question. That's a hard question. So how do you find balance when you constantly have to pee well, but I think if you constantly have to pee you don't want to drink too much water but what if you still need water to survive drink a cup of water like each six or five hours a day I would just bring a bag a plastic bag around to pee in for the emergencies yeah that would be pretty good yeah you just pee like, in a bag yeah, and then you leave it on your People you don't like. Yeah, I did. I didn't. Whatever it's called, an it, disintegratable bag or something. <laughs> an disintegratable. <laughs> you know? And I think that if you pee in a bag, you can just water plants with it after. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so that's the that's answer. that's our answer. Sick. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> um, another one. So we'll go back to Chelsea, but let's switch up the questions. You know. So. Mason wants to know, my friend Mason, shout out to you, woo! She wants to know, how do you keep a man? Dude. Dude. How do you keep a man? How do you keep a man? What are the steps? There's three steps. Three steps. How to keep a man. How, how do you? What do, would you do say? Do you already your... have him? <laughs> I guess, because you're keeping him, so you're not get. it's not how do you get a man. Well, you try to ask him what he doesn't like so you know more <laughs> information about him so your relationship doesn't go downhill. So you're, you're just trying to, like, you know, find more stuff about him. So how to keep a man, ask him what he doesn't like so that you don't... So you know what he doesn't like. So if you do something... So just basic like, communication? It'll, yeah, you'll, it'll put your relationship downhill. The second thing is... What's like some men really like food? Yeah. <laughs> so I do. The way through a man's heart is through his stomach. I think that's a quote. Yeah. What's your favorite food? My favorite food, Chinese food. Yeah, Gavin's favorite food is he's obsessed with orange chicken. Like has been since he was <laughs> like four years old. Okay. Well, anything else on how to keep a man? I think you just gotta roll with it. You know. You know? Yeah. Just roll with it. So, I don't know what my hair is doing here, but you just gotta roll with it. You just gotta roll with the punches, brother. Yeah. Cool. How do you... Okay, we'll go back to Mason later. What's some advice on going vegan? Going vegan? Do you well, know what vegan is? I think it's like, don't eat dairy or meat, right? It's like... <laughs> what is veganism to those? Comment down yeah, below. Yeah, none of us really know. Like, what does it mean to be a vegan? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it's like 
Well, no, I know what being a vegan is. It's just like, I don't really know all of the like really important steps, but for somebody who doesn't really know a lot about veganism, such as yourself, what is, what is advice for being a vegan? Don't be a vegan. <laughs> Okay. Dude, meat is good. Case closed. Yeah. Sorry. What do you suggest for a Netflix binge session? What's a binge session? A binge session is where you, like, watch Netflix for, like, 12 hours straight. Dude, number one, uh, Good Luck Charlie. It's a pretty good one. Gavin's obsessed with that show. And number two, I would say How How I Met Your Mother. Actually, that's number, that's number one. How I Met Your Mother... Second one, wait, how do you go through it? Like, what shows you should, or like, what should you do? What shows? Oh, what shows? How I Met Your Mother, New Girl. All these shows suck. I would never dumb, watch any of How I Met Your Mother is the best. Dude, that's Neil Patrick Harris in it. You can't yeah, go wrong How I Met Your Mother is, like, pretty good. And then Good Luck Charlie. I'll do two more. Then we have Raising Hope. Oh, my God. All these shows suck, Gavin. <laughs> and <laughs> what's another one? Okay, if, Live in if I could answer this question, I would say Criminal Minds, SVU. I look like kind of like creepy shows. Dude. American Horror Story for I like sure. Comedy shows. Yeah, we're, we're like opposite. <laughs> I'm creepy. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> okay, how do you deal with fake people in your life? Fake people? Like if someone's being like, like they're like talking but they're lying. Like yeah, that. they're just, like, not being real with you dude, in your day-to-day. just day. messed up. Just, like, punch them in the face. It's just... Dude, it's like, why would you do that? Just don't be friends with them. Just say, you know what? Yeah, but what get, if it's more complicated than that? that? What if you've been friends with them for, like, years and, like, you have a really okay. deep friendship? Like, then, you, then you sit them down, give them their favorite food, because you know that, because you've been friends with them. <laughs> And give them their favorite calm food. Calm them down and then talk them through it. And if they can change, then your friendship is better. But if they can't, then throw time them to in let the them trash go. Can. Throw them in. Throw, throw them, them in the, the trash. Dumpster. Where's the trash? Throw them in. Beep. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Peace. Next question. Next question. What's the difference between ketchup and tomato jam? I've never had tomato jam, but I do, I have had com ketchup. <laughs> ketchup. Well, what's the difference? I think tomato jam would have some, like, thing to make it, like, jam. You know, like, gooey and... It's not a gooey, is like, a tomato ketchup. a fruit or a vegetable? Fruit? It is. I wanted to see if you knew that. Okay. All right, Amalia has, so th those questions are from Isabel. We'll still go back. This question's for, from Amalia. She asked you some pretty, like, heartfelt questions. Not heartfelt. This is, like, that's not the right word. Like, questions that, like, are actually useful in life. Oh, okay. I got you. Number one, how do you prepare for a class that you will almost inevitably have a bad teacher in and how to stay positive and motivated while taking it? I mean, you're in middle school, so I don't know why she's asking you this. Well, I have a very good answer for that. So what's the first part of the question? <laughs> how to prepare for a class that you will probably have a bad teacher in Well, and how to stay positive and motivated through the class. Well, if you know you're going to have a bad teacher in it, don't take the class. Yeah, but it can be more complicated than that. But if you know their option, you need it to graduate. Oh, oh, that's hard. But just try to be like the nicest student. Because if you're nice to the teacher, then he's nice back, or her, nice back to you. But if you're like a troublemaker in the class. Like you. Then the teachers won't like you. And how to like stay positive during the class. If they get on your freaking nerves and you want to kill them, <clears throat> then just like ignore them. Just like write in your notebook, like, like if you're just, if the, you see something they're doing stupid, just write in your notebook and see, like, do you want to kill them? Like, Gavin. I'm saying, like, a lot. Okay, well. That just like, was... and eat food in class. Don't let them see you, though. <sighs> just do stuff you like after school. Okay. Well. That was kind of helpful. No, it was helpful, dude. That was helpful, dude. I, th I think it was helpful. Okay, dude. how to motivate yourself to work out more, be fit, and eat healthy. 
one word, motivation. Yeah, but it's asking how to motivate yourself. How to motivate yourself? Get off your damn ass and get in the car and drive to the gym and don't eat junk food and start working out. Got my man Logan Paul getting ripped for 2020 Olympics. Who's Logan Paul? Super good. Viner, actor. He's a YouTuber. Viner. No, he, he. Vine for life. He canceled Viner. Yeah, because Vine is dumb. What is this on your phone? It's a pop. My song. brother has this weird thing on his phone, and he like always has it on there, and he just like plays with it. It's kind of cool though. I love it. So you can't break it. But that's my advice. Shout to out to these things. Pop sockets. I might make one in my YouTube channel when I get bunch of subscribers so go tell people about my channel please oh my god it's like <laughs> begging people ah! Ah! okay come on okay Next so question. another okay let's go back to chelsea so chelsea wants to know okay this is one of the questions the guy i like said meow to me when i told him i liked him does that mean he's into me or not well you have to decide whether the person you like is a cat person or a dog person because if it's a cat person then obviously he likes you because he's saying meow wait that's a good response yeah that's pretty odd yeah and if he's a dog he's saying ruff, ruff. but if he's a dog person and he's saying meow yeah, then, he, then he doesn't he doesn't like he it. doesn't but if but if he likes cats more than dogs and he says meow then he probably does so there's your answer for question number eight so okay nice next question Next question. How do you get abs? How do you get abs, dude? See these? I'm not gonna show you. Yeah, oh, show yeah. them. Gavin has abs. I don't have abs. Yeah, he does. No, I'm too self-conscious. He's too self-conscious. Well, you get it. Too self-conscious. Like motivation. You have to have motivation to get abs. But don't you have? If you okay, so but if you don't show them your abs, obviously, then you don't have motivation to have abs. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't want them yet. I'm not. He's not ready. I'm not through puberty yet. He's not through puberty, so he can't have abs yet. Yeah. So go to junior guards. They got get you ripped. I think I probably had like a. What if you don't guard. live in Santa Cruz? How do you go to junior oh. guards if you don't live in Santa Just Cruz? Just go in your house and get your feet under something. And start doing workouts or sit ups, something like that. Nice. And just uh, get abs. All right. How do you blend your eyeshadow? How do you blend your eyeshadow? Well. How do you blend it? Yeah. You, know get, you get a smoothie maker <laughs> and blend the eyeshadow. Okay, if you want to blend your eyeshadow, dump it in the dump eyeshadow. it in the smoothie maker, <laughs> blend that shit up, shiz up, and you're good to go. <laughs> All right. How do you, how do I eat Doritos without getting my fingers all cheesy? I've tried wearing gloves, but the people kind of give me the look. This is from Chelsea. Well, if you. I have two ways that are helpful. First, the first way is you get the Dorito bag without gloves because... You, you don't want to give the yeah, look. You don't want to get the look and crunch them up really nice and then without your fingers, like in the bag, like, like outside, outside the bag. And then you just pour it in your mouth. It's not very nice, but it's okay. And my second, second idea <sighs> is you take three chips, eat them, and then lick your fingers. And then make sure they're not moist. 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 Because... <laughs> Why did you just say that twice? I don't know. Because moist, moist. then they'll get more cheese on them. So now you don't have to worry about getting cheese on your hands. And then wiping them on your arms or stuff. You know? Yeah. I got you. Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea, we got you. <laughs> Gary Jr. Okay. Also... <laughs> Gavin. him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, Chelsea. Okay, we're done with Chelsea's questions. We did them all, so let's look at the ones we haven't done. Dude, I think we did all the questions. We did? Yeah. So we did all the questions. Well, that's it for this video this video hope you guys liked it um please comment down below comment if you want us to do more videos together because we're kind of the dream team yeah <laughs> just yeah. comment down below if you guys 
Morning. Shout out to Gavin's friend Garrett, who looks like a who. Yeah. Shout out <laughs> to Garrett. Oh, you know what I have to do? Shout out to these these kids are like six and seven. Aww. Shout out to Logan Burnell. Shout out to Logan Burnell and Caden. Caden. Caden in the show. I don't know. I don't. I forgot your last name. But if you're watching this, shout out to you guys. Shout out. And you know, I love you guys. Please subscribe and go like this video and comment down below what you want us to do in the next video and comment what if you want us to be in the next video. So bye guys. Bye, bye guys. You guys.